I'm gonna care when the rap music come on now. What's up, what's up, what's up, King? Con. Listen, man, hey, I wanna talk to anybody who wanna talk to me. Let's have a conversation, fam. So what's the mission? What's the mission? Yeah. Hey, man, let's, let me get that back at uh, Acts 3. What's the mission? Let's get it, man. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. So that all of the wrongdoings we've done, man, they ain't going to be held accountable against us later on, man. You understand? We got to come back together as a body, as a people, as a family, right? Because you know, you know the biggest thing, right? A house divided shall not stand. Right. And you already know, through COINTELPRO, through all of these other things, we were a house divided. We got to come back together. Let me get that seven nine again. Come on, y'all. Quick with the sword. Read. Repent ye therefore. And be converted that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come. When the times of refreshing shall come. Read. From the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Yahawashai Christ, which before was preached unto you. Now watch this. Got that, Zephaniah? Go ahead. This is Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together, ye. Gather yourselves together. Right? What's your name, fam? City called me Grind. Grind. Yeah. Hey, listen, we out here grinding, King. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Hey, they call me Bazak, man. Read. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yeah. Gather together, O nation, not the same. Gather yourselves together. Yeah. Gather together, O nation not desired. We are, we are a people robbed and spoiled. We are a people under the prison houses. Hold that, Amos 3. We got to come back together, right? Because the stuff we go through as a people, Mr. Grind, ain't nobody else been through it. Ain't nobody else lived what we've lived. That's right. To still be in the hands of your captor. To still, to still treat your brothers and sisters the way that they set you up to treat each other. Because it's not, it's not innate in us to hate each other. So, so just for the people that might not fully understand what you're saying, how, like you mentioned Cointel Pro, what role did that Cointel Pro play and what were some of the tricks and tactics that they used whether it's subliminal, whether it's through image, whether it, that you feel like was done to get us on a frequency. Listen, now on watch this. Did you watch uh, Judas and the Black Messiah? Yeah. Nah. You didn't watch that? I watching. You have to watch it. Did you watch it? I watching. Listen, I had to watch it multiple times. I'm going to tell you why. Cointel Pro. What they did was they, they, they arrested a brother and then they told him, in order for you to not go to jail, I need you to infiltrate the Black Panther Party. Talk about it. Right? Yeah. So then he goes and infiltrates the Black Panther Party. I'm talking about right now. Huh? I start watching it right then. So when I see the white man do Listen, that, listen. And they make movies. To and, 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 and you know why it's so messed up, right? It's because at the end of it all, right? At the end of it all. And this is 1960-something. In 1980, he was interviewed, right? And what happened the day after the interview? No, the day of the interview. That night, he went to his hotel room and committed suicide. That's how destroyed we are. He thought he was doing something right, even though he knew he was doing something wrong. And then because of the, he felt that uh, uh, confliction, he committed suicide. But what did he do? Now you got, who was that? That was Fred Hampton, right? Fred Hampton, 21 years old, revolutionary. Brothers and sisters, we gotta come together. Brothers and sisters, we gotta stop killing each other. We gotta stop, we gotta stop being afraid of the white man. Cointel Pro, they, they infiltrated them. Then you got this dude that's 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 trying to plant things or trying to uh, 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 cause them to go, get in trouble and go off. They had to arrest Fred Hampton. What did they charge him with? Stealing ice cream. He spent, what, a couple years in the pen. So, so uh... Now you, you bottom up on that, so let's fast forward it to this younger generation. Yes, sir. What were some of the tricks and tactics that you feel like was used to kind of trick the young kids to tell on them themselves now? Watch this. Everybody, 
Social media, man. Social media. I remember there was a time where, hey, what, what did Jay-Z say? I remember when uh, uh, taking pictures was, was the bad thing. You know what I'm saying? Getting snaps was a bad thing. Like, we've told on ourselves to the utmost. We, we will do the crime, and then because we don't want to go to jail, now we're going to incriminate everybody else. We're going to incriminate ourselves. But all we're looking for is what? That hamburger? That, that, that large fry? But it's not just that. What has gotten us into this position? Let me get that Deuteronomy 28. It's because we hate ourselves. We weren't doing this before. We hate ourselves even more now because of what we don't have. Let me get that. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 56. Wow. The tender and delicate woman among you. Also like me. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you, the man that is tender among you, go ahead, and very delicate, and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. That's a curse. This is only happening in our communities. I can't see the last time I seen a Jewish man fight a Jewish man. Right? And the only reason why the white man kills the white man is because they just, they hate everything. And they're men of war. Right? But when it comes to us, we've, we've, we've taken on the characteristics of the other nations. And while doing so, we've been cursed to hate each other. But guess what? When you understand that that's a curse that you hate each other, when you get to that knowledge, now you can reverse the curse. I'm not going to hate you. So, Go ahead, brother. So what are some practices that need to be done in the community to teach, to teach somebody to love their brother versus, because it's hard, like if they wrong you, then you're looking at them like, but at the same time, like what, I'm just trying to get, you know. Yeah, I understand, I understand. Yeah. What, what, what's gonna, what is it gonna take to get to that, right? Yes. First, understanding. Understanding who you are, why it's going on. And next, saying to yourself and saying to your brother, listen, no matter what wrong you've done to me, I still love you. It's not an easy thing, but we gotta look at the bigger picture, right? There's a book of First John, chapter five, verse three, verse two, Salakia. By this, we know that we love the children of God. This is how we know that we love the children of God. Grind, you a child of the most high. I'm a child of the most high. These brothers and sisters you see out here, half naked and fully clothed, are the children of the most high. While you out here right now, Grind, I want you to do me a favor, and I want you to just pan around this whole block for me, King, and just see the love that you see out here of the brothers that used to gang bang and kill each other and said we no longer doing that to, to, and, and we're no longer propagating that shit that the white man got us doing right. but rather we loving each other more right you dealing with you dealing with the worst of the worst up here and guess what now we'll ride with each other right go ahead when we love god and keep his commandments verse three for this is the love of God. What's the love of God? That we keep his commandments. That we keep his what? We keep his commandments. And what? And his commandments are not grievous. It's not a difficult thing. It's not a difficult thing. We just been programmed to think we're not supposed to. It starts with knowing self, the water king. See? I talked to that man. I said the water king. I mean, so, thank you, king. So when so when you say, I got two more questions. So when you say program. What are you what are you elaborating on and so that a person can because if you don't understand then you can't stop the attacks. You don't understand that you're being programmed. Like what are some examples of, of somebody being programmed and they don't know they're being programmed? Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter four and verse five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, 
even as the Lord my God commanded me. See, this is Moses talking to the Israelites in Mount Sinai. He was talking to you. He was talking to me. Read. That ye should do so in the land whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them. Keep the commandments and do them. Keep the law. Listen, we might be in America, right? But understand something. When we were in our own land, we had our own laws. Right. Now that we're in America, we're told that we got to keep their laws. Right? But if we had our laws and we were keeping our laws, we wouldn't be in this position right now. Right. Right. To be the greatest people on the planet and then be, be put into this position. Finish reading it. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nation. This is your wisdom and understanding in the sight of all the other nations. Read. Right. Which shall hear all these statutes. Uh -huh. And say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. See, when they, when the other nations hear about us doing what we're supposed to do, they're going to see the wisdom. They're going to see how, how more advanced we are in our thought process. Listen, if it wasn't for us, there wouldn't be a, a, a stoplight. If it wasn't for us, there wouldn't be a windshield wiper on the car. You're talking about being in slavery from 1441 all the way to 1865. Talk about it. By time it's 1912, we're running Black Wall Street in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So that, that were my last point you want to go to. What are some of the messages that Make might sure you can hear. What, what, is, what are some of the messages that might pop up in your head pertaining to fixing the economy to the point to where a brother doesn't feel like he has to harm his brother? Like he feel like, okay, you took them twenty thousand from me, I can't afford to take that loss. Or it's cheaper now. Now watch. We can't afford to take no losses. You understand? But we can we cannot afford to destroy each other any longer. Read. This is the book of Joshua, the first chapter and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then... Thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then, once you start doing what you're supposed to, then your walk is going to be prosperous. Right. You're going right. to eat. Listen, man, even through the hard times, we got our belly full. Even through the hard times, throughout our slavery, we still smile. Our spirit is up. Read. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. And then thou shalt have good success. Good success, read. Have I not commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Uh -huh. Be not afraid. Uh -huh. Be strong and have good courage. Be not afraid. We're not afraid of what these other nations going to do. We're not afraid of what the police do. We're not afraid of none of these people, man. You understand? Go ahead. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. The Most High is with us, man. We got to understand that he's with us. And because we, we do these things, we do it and we think the Most High ain't with us. But that's because we've been delusional. We've been told we ain't nothing. Let me get it, Deuteronomy 28, starting up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, if you shall hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, if you do what he say, which I command thee this day, go ahead. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above. Oh, hold on, now watch this, oh, watch this, grind. How you gonna, how you gonna see the fruits of your labor if you're not willing to do the work? That's where it starts, right? So what, what he's saying is, if you do what I say, you're gonna see the, the, the prosperity. You're going to see the, the greatness that I have in store for you because I've already told you. That's what you get. You my children. You got any kids, Grind? Yeah, I got two. Two, right? Yeah. How old? How young? What's the youngest? 21. 21, right? Now watch this. You had to set him straight a couple times in his life, huh? Yeah. Now watch. If he don't do what you say, you got to set him right. But what happens if he continues to never do what you say? You got to let him go on his path. And that path is going to be difficult. 
because he ain't taking your wisdom and your guidance. Scriptures say, train up a child in the way that they shall go and they shall not depart. Right? Read that. Uh, you wanna, uh, this verse 2, chapter 28, Deuteronomy. And all these blessings shall come upon thee. All the blessings shall come upon you, Brian. And overtake thee. And upon your seed, Brian. And thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God.